Hi, John Capobianco here and building on the AI agents. Security is a huge focus, both using AI to secure things and using AI to detect problems that could then kick off a further automation workflow. For now, let's focus on adding an AI agent to detect vulnerabilities and add it to our swarm of AI agents. So we're in this DevNet sandbox environment and we're just gonna focus on router one for now. All right, we have no problems in service now. Let me refresh the screen. No problems in service now. And we have the router one in the DevNet sandbox with minimal information, not much in there about it. So we're gonna incorporate the Cisco product security incident response teams, open vulnerability API. All right, so this is everything to know about PCERT. If you've never heard of this, dive into it. So the idea here is that can our user interface with a main agent, a front end agent, that is our streamlet UI, our front end, and also acts as our router agent. We're gonna send either REST APIs or PyTSCLI commands, parsed commands, show commands, configuration commands in one direction. And we're gonna get either JSON or raw text back in the other direction. So we have this huge mix of awesome agents, router agents, switch agents, host agents, API agents, an email utility, an image multimodal to recognize images. We're gonna focus on adding a PCERT agent, which I've done. So we can break away from this. We'll keep the problems open and we're here in the prompt. So let's show it in action and then we'll take a look at how this was built. Um, is R1 vulnerable if so please open a problem in service now and email the security team a report to and then some email address so we're going to hit send here now what's going to happen is it might check netbox first for some information but it's now using PyETS on router one. Now I haven't hard coded in any of this. There is no show version command hard coded. It has reasoned that through the tools that it has access to, whoops, wrong way, um, to go ahead and run the show version command using PyETS. So now I, we kind of missed it and there's gonna be a big dump of data here. <clears throat> it has generated a token for the PCERT API and use that token to get the problems. Yeah, let's do this again. Let's do this again. That was a problem with the ticket. So we're gonna connect to R1 and I'm gonna do this in a controlled fashion this time. So it's gone ahead and invoke the router input agent with the show run command tool and now PyETS is connected to router one using the testbed information and it's gathered show version. So the next thing, oh, I missed it again, that's too bad. The next thing it's gonna do is check the vulnerabilities with the API, uh, PCERT API, using the version it found from the router. Now this is all the big data that it found. Is there any way to get to the bottom of this? Um, and now I'm doing a little bit of work to find the highest vulnerabilities. So it found, let's see here. I now have the device version information for router one. Now I'm gonna check for vulnerabilities for this version that it found. And now here's the final answer. Here's the security risk report and the vulnerabilities that it found, 11. So there's 11 high risk vulnerabilities for this version. And here's the details from those 11 in the logs. Um, now it's going to go ahead and open up the problem statement in service now. And then it's going to go ahead and send me an email. And here's the email. So let's quickly look straight. So R1 is vulnerable. A problem has been opened in service now with that ticket number and a report has been emailed to the security team. So if we refresh our problems, multiple high risk and critical issues for R1 vulnerabilities. And it's opened up this ticket, 
R1 system has been identified with multiple high risk and critical vulnerabilities and a little bit of a detail. Now I am struggling with getting this level of detail into the ticket. It seems to want to summarize everything, but it is here in the logs. I'd love to get this information out into ServiceNow and out to the UI as a response. I'm still working on that, but we can check the email and see what the security response team, all from AI agents, would have received. So check this out. This is really cool. Dear security team, please be informed R1 currently has vulnerable due to multiple high risk vulnerabilities affecting its iOS version 17.12.1. Below are the details. Total high risk vulnerabilities 11, the critical score of nine or above one, high 10 multiple vulnerabilities, the web UI feature, denial of service, right, all this stuff, recommended fix, and that the problem has been opened under ServiceNow. All from, is R1 vulnerable? Pretty remarkable stuff, right? So AI agents doing vulnerability checks, we could check all the devices in the topology. We could then, ideally, and, and we can maybe work on this, Go ahead and download the recommended fix uh, and see if we could apply it through an agent and remediate, right? Close the loop on this. But I wanted to share with you PCERT integration as a new agent. Um, you set up an application in PCERT, you get your client credentials, set them up in the .env file. The agent will generate its OAuth2 key automatically. And then you can ask it things like, is router one vulnerable? Or other questions about vulnerabilities. Okay, we'll see you soon.